What's up, school fans? Welcome back to Trash Talk. Balik lagi bareng gue. Oh, ada security gue masuk bentar. Balik lagi bareng gue. Balik lagi bareng gue, Rocky Padilla. Uh, karena kita bersama salah satu fans besarnya Kobe Bryant. Dan juga Los Angeles lagi, kalian bisa langsung lihat. Di, dengan jersinya dia, Ando Vida Lopez. Ando Vida Lopez. Hey, how are you, Rocky? Baik, guys. By the way, for the basketball, for the Indonesian basketball culture. There we go. <laughs> Thank you for the shout out, man. I really appreciate yeah, yeah, yeah. you, man. Thank you banget, though. Udah mau diundang dan mau yeah. diajakin ngobrol-ngobrol sedikit tentang NBA. Kita tahu NBA ini udah di bawah 40 hari lagi. The countdown. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Kita kita semua semangat banget. Andovi, kalau lagi nggak ada NBA kayak gini, stres nggak sih bangun pagi nggak bisa nonton? <laughs> Bro, you know, see, kayak, you're so stressed. You're watching like American high school kids play basketball. Look at, look at, look at every basketball content, every podcast, every yeah. berita Ben Simmons mau keluar Philly. Oh my god! Every berita kayak you just consuming. Dan lupa sih ngerti kan? Uh, man, if anybody understands basketball, it's Rocky Padilla. Okay? Yeah. You understand what I mean, bro? Yes. Kayak, this off season it has been so interesting. It like is. It, apalagi uh, Lakers 2022 oh NBA my God. champion <laughs> do <Don't> that <laughs> oh god <laughs> nah, tapi ya bener kata lu man kayak the amount of um, news and the, the formal the yeah. fear of missing out on basketball is big so I can't wait I can't wait to the basketball to come back and gua ini mau sih pas lu pak kebetulan malu ngomong mentioning tentang Ben Simmons lu kok sebagai yeah. fans NBA sekarang ini lu gimana sih perasaannya kayak Kalau Shaq kesel, Shaq kan kesel sama dia. Shaq yeah. kesel banget. Bahkan uh-huh. Shaq sampai ngomong kayak, Ben, you're not that good. Yes. Bener, bener, bener. Gue kayak, what? Kayak, ya, ha, ya kalau Shaq ngomong gitu boleh sih. Kan dia selalu ngomong, I have, I have G14 classification. Yes. Dia selalu ngomong gitu. Gue sebagai fans NBA, apalagi yang gue sebel, setiap summer kan dia selalu keluarin video dia nge-shoot 3 point. Kita ditipu terus. Kan? Kita ditipu yeah. terus. Iya. <laughs> Wait, wait. Ben Simmons can make all these three pointers. Call like the NBA summer run, NBA summer run. Yeah. Tapi pasti, I don't know, man. Tapi look, if he doesn't want to play in Philadelphia, it's his right. He's a player. Mm. Tapi sekarang gue tanya, menurut lu? Gue tanya balik. Okay, you're an NBA analyst. You follow this shit. Menurut lu, Simmons, NBA season start in Philadelphia atau bakal di mana? Um, for me, for me, I don't think he's yeah. gonna be in Philadelphia. I think he will be gone. Um, okay. The most likely sekarang ini paling bisa sebenarnya Cleveland. Oh. Cleveland okay. menurut gua yang bisa give them a good package. Uh, oh, tapi bisa memang kan? si oh, Daryl yeah, Morey-nya yeah. aja bajingan. Daryl Morey nggak bajingan, bajingan. Yeah, yeah. harus turunin. Gak bisa dia mintanya terlalu banyak gitu loh. Dia harus Berarti. sadar bahwa bahwa Ben Simmons ini. lu nggak bisa lah minta kayak empat first round picks, and then lu minta superstar muda. Betul 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 betul. Ini orang kemarin choke man against Atlanta Hawks di playoff. Yeah. So, so you can, lu nggak bisa minta banyak banyak. Ada that satu play di mana dia bahkan under the ring. Yeah, that one. Dan dia <laughs> kayak man Tuhan gua aja kalau dikasih kesempatan gua langsung naik. <laughs> Apalagi Ben Simmons gitu. Makanya wow. so. So jadi gue dengerin juga sih tentang tadi podcastnya tentang Rich Paul kan kita tahu dia di ya. Clutch right sama di Chris Paul. Clutch, 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 yeah. Iya dia emang orangnya suka maksa banget gitu si Rich Paul ini jadi kayak Anthony Davis hmm. kalau lo inget Anthony Davis juga ya. sempat kena denda Waktu... 50 ribu. Betul. Jadi dia, dia Betul. maksain untuk keluar dari New Orleans Pelicans jadi ini sebenarnya kondisinya. Iya yeah, ini ya, situasinya ya. mirip tapi kita nggak tahu kalau si Ben Simmons ini pengennya mainnya di mana sih gitu kan. Ada, masa kayak LA ada, juga. Ada, <laughs> iya ya. Enggak mungkin udah udah lama buat LA kita kalau mau LA kita mau panjang tapi kayak <laughs> ada desas desus Ben Simmons desas desus ya. Yeah. Katanya kayak masuk ke Golden State. What do you think about that? Ke Golden State menurut gua masih possible. Mungkin karena mereka ada hmm. asetnya Andrew Wiggins, right? Wiggins, ya ya ya. Karena mereka kan, I'm a, I think Wiseman. I'm, I'm not sure if they are happy with Wiseman. With Wiseman, betul. Yes, yeah, so yeah, James yeah. Wiseman might be bisa dipindahin juga. Tapi kan yang penting core-nya okay. adalah uh, Steph, uh, Clay, Clay, Draymond. Draymond. Itu tiga itu tiga. harus stay yeah. gitu. Jadi mungkin betul. mereka masih bisa ke Golden State. Tapi of course, gue lupa satu lagi adalah Portland. Portland juga oh, mungkin yeah. aja. Eh, tapi Dame, Dame hari pagi ini baru ngomong kalau I'm staying in Portland. 
Yeah, his name, not CJ, right? Name pagi ni. Oh. <laughs> Maybe CJ could be gone. Right, <laughs> right, right, right. Maybe, maybe. Yeah. You're right. Emang sebenarnya rumornya adalah ditukar sama Dame, but obviously menurut gua Dame nggak mungkin lah ya pindah yeah. dari Portland. I think this Usah. guy is a very loyal guy. Gitu. This guy is Portland. Dame yes. is Portland. Yeah. Apa but... dia baru album? Dia bukan album. <laughs> Dan dia baru menikah kan? Congratulations, yes. Damian Lillard. Yes. Baru menikah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He just got married last weekend. But back to you, though. Uh, kita ada yeah. ngomongin. Uh, di sini ini trash talk. This is trash talk. You can oh, trash talk. talk. Lo bisa ngomong trash. apa aja. Lo mau curse okay. is okay. <laughs> Jadi okay. boleh. You want to say shit, okay. fuck, anything is fine. Boleh, boleh. Uh, okay. Uh, but gua gua nggak tahu lo udah pernah cerita ini atau belum di tempat yeah. lain, di podcast lain atau nggak. Gua tapi pengen tahu yeah. lo. Lo pertama kali. Yeah. How did you fall in love with the Lakers and Kobe Bryant? Oh ya, yeah. gue udah pernah ngomong ini di hmm. uh, gue pernah uh, a little plug gue pernah yeah. ngomong ini di my, my own podcast dengan NBA Infinite ID okay. namanya Double Screen Double Screen okay. Podcast. Uh-huh. Jadi my earliest memory, I kid you uh-huh. not, my earliest memory of a basketball. Gue waktu itu kan gue lahir sembilan uh-huh. My earliest memory waktu gue enam tahun. Enam tahun gue gue enam tahun. Gue masih ingat entah kenapa. The lob from Kobe to Shaq. Okay. Langsung, either gue nonton langsung, gue nonton di berita, gue nggak uh, tahu. Against Jadi Portland, right? Game, right, game seven from Kobe to Shaq. Yeah. Okay, started the dynasty. Itu earliest memory. Nah dari situ, gue masih ingat karena waktu itu kan gue sekolah di Denmark. Okay. I, because, because karena karena gue nggak uh, because my mom is a diplomat, gue sama Kak Jo mm. kita kita sekolah di Denmark. Denmark is a football country. Mm. By football, I mean uh, football, yeah. soccer atau whatever you want to call mm-hmm. it. Bola, sepak bola. Semua teman-teman gue main sepak bola. Entah kenapa gue sama Kak Jo dari dulu selalu ke basket. Oke. Okay. Karena kita selalu ke basket. Entah kenapa di di Denmark waktu itu mereka mainin. They only played Lakers game sama New York kalau nggak salah. Subuh selalu tuh. Selalu. Mm. Dan entah kenapa my earliest memory. Jadi gue ikutin Kobe Shaq bener-bener dari. Wow. Gue bener-bener ikutin dari 2000, 2001, 2002, 2002. 2003, 2004, 2000, literally legit since the, that was my earliest memory sampai Kobe pensiun dan akhirnya rest in peace Kobe, rest in, in peace, peace. Black Mamba. Dan bahkan setelah Kobe Bryant meninggal pun, my heart will still always be with the Lakers. Uh, makanya kayak gimana? It, it's such a childhood man. Gini ya, gua kalau sedih, stress, apapun keadaan hidup, I run to basketball. Yeah. I, I don't think people understand. I'm sure the same thing is for you. I'm sure. Kayak Gue waktu itu ditolak cewek pas gue SMA. Gue langsung main 4 jam basket sendiri. Wow. Sendirian I, I shot. Kak, it is my getaway. Banyak orang banyak orang enggak ngerti kalau basketball is way more than just playing a game. It's it's my escape. Mm-hmm. Jalan keluar gua di, di hidup gua. Gua sekarang tinggal di Bali. The first thing I ask is gua bisa main basket di mana? Di Chufai Place. Ada di Sanur, ada komunitas basket okay. di Sanur. Ada di Sanur. main setiap Rabu sama Minggu ya, jadi agak aneh. <laughs> Tapi intinya <laughs> kayak so that's it. So I was there through the the Kobe bad years yang setelah Shaq left. I was there back to the Kobe back to back. I was there after the back to back Achilles, Kobe uh, hmm. turun, Kobe post career. Wow. I, I mean everything uh, Kobe meninggal was one of the worst times of my of life. Of course. For I all mean of us. itu I mean for all of us gua sampai I, I don't know man. Gue sampai satu bulan kayak orang tuh nggak ngerti. Jadi waktu itu gue di gue di komen di Instagram lebay Ludov. Orang ngomong lebay Ludov. Emang lu kenal dia? Terus gue hmm. ngomong gini. Lu nggak harus kenal orang yes. untuk mengetahui impact dia dalam hidup. Kayak people don't understand kayak when you watch someone religiously. Kayak oh gila. Hmm. Man. Rocky, you and I were fortunate enough to work with the NBA. Yes. We, we work with them. Right gue udah ketemu hampir semua pemain NBA. Bahkan Michael Jordan pun, gue gak ketemu, tapi gue udah lihat waktu yeah. uh, All-Star Game di Charlotte. Yes. All-Star Game di Charlotte. Gue lihat dia. Kobe pun, gue udah ber- minta berkali-kali, ini sebelum dia meninggal tentunya, berkali-kali sama NBA, please can I meet him? He's my idol. I would do anything. Lu mau gue kasih 10 YouTube video dari skinny juga aman. Kayak gue udah kayak, What? apa? udah gak pernah kesampaian. Man, people don't understand. Kayak, it was it was a hard time. 
it was such a hard time. Then, yeah, to those people who said that kita lebay, you don't understand. Yeah, go, yeah. Mereka bakal ngerti, Rocky. Yeah. Mereka, gak bakal, gak, mereka bakal ngerti, gitu. It's okay, man. I mean, like, people gonna say things, you know, in this life. Tapi yeah. gue, ya, yeah, kita, it's our hero. I think Kobe is my inspiration. Right. My, my right. hero. So, when I saw him pass away, it's just like, you know, it's wow. a big loss for all of us. And I was like, for all of us. I was like speechless. I was crying right away when I saw yeah. the news. I was crying. Pertama, when I got the news, I didn't believe. Did me, too, me too. Me too. It happened, it happened like 3, 4 a.m. in Jakarta. Yeah. Gua, gua bangun jam tujuh. Gua lihat WhatsApp gua, miss call seratus lebih. Jadi kan WhatsApp ada ada batasannya sembilan sembilan plus. Iya. Yeah. Miss call sembilan sembilan plus. Gua kira admin. Lu ngerti nggak? Lu nggak pernah buka. Nah, gua yeah. kira aduh. Nah, waktu itu gua ada kerjaan penting. Gua kira ini kerjaan. Jadi gua malas. Gua kira aduh apa sih? Ini miss call kayak. Tapi banyak yeah. banget. Gua tidur lagi. Gua tidur lagi. Gua tanda gua tidur lagi. Di telepon terus. Damn. Gua kayak yo something zapper. Gua ditelepon sama teman gua. Andovi. Kobe died. Gue cuma kayak, man, at that moment, gue gak ngomong gini, Kobe siapa? Padahal gak, 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 gak ada Kobe lain di dunia. Hei, gak ada Kobe lain. Gak ada. Tapi, respect lu kayak, hah, Kobe siapa? Kayak, that's all, kayak, hah? Kobe, Kobe Bryant. Itu gue kayak, shut the fuck up. Gue langsung, shut the fuck up. Just come on, gak lucu bro, bro. Gak lucu. Gak fucking lucu aja. Buka Instagram. Gue buka Instagram, NBA kan gue langsung press on NBA pertama yang foto Kobe megang basket yang kayak gini. Iya. Yeah. Kayak yang maksudnya kayak yes passed away. Gue masih nggak percaya. NBA ngepost gue masih nggak percaya. Gila NBA nggak percaya loh. Ya? Sampai you know the moment I believe, the moment I believe adalah ketika beritanya adalah dia meninggal karena pesawat helikopter. Yes. Nah for those hardcore Kobe Bryant fans, tahu kalau Kobe naik helikopter. Lu ngerti gak? It, it's a thing nah. that we knew. Yeah, yeah. Itu, itu, itu kayak only hardcore fans tahu kalau emang dari dulu dia untuk untuk escape uh, LA traffic, untuk ke Staples Center, dan untuk uh, ketemu sama Gianna, yes. rest in peace, peace Gigi, untuk 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 make make time for Gianna, for Natalia, dia naik helikopter. Jadi once I heard the helicopter, I was like, oh this is not, oh this is real. Yeah. Ngerti gak? Kayak, 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 kayak that, and it hit me and I just, I just cried bro. I, it was, it was, it was. Dan, dan waktu gue tahu masih belum tahu Gigi meninggal atau enggak. Iya. Yeah. Gitu ya, masih belum tahu. Beritanya masih kayak, eh ini ada siapa di pesawat? Tiba-tiba Gigi meninggal. Oh my. Mm. It was just... Dan Gigi meninggal karena lagi OTW. Real Kobe fans tanding. tahu kalau, ya yeah, real Kobe fans tahu kalau kalau Kobe coachnya timnya Gigi. Jadi when the Brita said he was on the way with Gigi to coach his team, udah, udah gue udah tahu, udah. Yeah. Kayak, This is real. I was really eh, sad sorry. that. Right. It's okay. <laughs> I was no, just no, really no, sorry sad. Sorry for talking about like Kobe oh. and Gigi, and I know. Sorry for much. It's okay, but I was just sad because Gigi was like up next. Like she's gonna up be next. like the next, the next, next big woman basketball star, okay. and so sad that we can't even get a chance to see that so happening. Sad. You know, but so sad. Karena kita ngomongin kan um, dari Kobe ya, Kobe era. Eh, tapi gue mau hmm. just belum gue lupa. Waktu itu lo nggak ada yeah. acara di uh, home court. Yeah. That was crazy. Gua, That was crazy. Man, okay. Gua benar-benar again, gua pas kau tahu, gua langsung lihat HP gua ngomong gini. Kalau ada hari di mana kita main basket, itu hari ini. Hmm. Entah kenapa it is kayak, look, this is the Kobe was so obsessed with basketball. The the proper way to honor him is to play basketball. Yeah. Like I I know it, I know it doesn't make sense. Karena masa orang meninggal main basket. Kayak gitu ya. It doesn't make sense on, on paper. Right? Tapi secara feeling, ya nggak sih? Kobe ya senyum lah pasti ngeliat itu. Iya, kayak uh. gila lo, kayak this is the only way. Dan pas gue liat yeah. lo datang, everybody come kayak people. Yeah. Gue bikin Instagram lo, gue cuma kayak guys, come home court. Gue nggak tahu siapa yang datang. Tiba-tiba rame, rame nya minta. I was like this is man. Best I think that was that kayak, was amazing menurut gue sih. What you yeah, did? That was yeah. that was kayak gue kayak sang setiap 26 Januari. No matter what the fuck is happening in my life. Gua harus main basket. Setiap 26 Januari, no matter what is happening, gua sekarang enggak gua main basket. Gua enggak peduli. Because I thought it was really awesome, just people getting around, you know, honoring Kobe Bryant yeah. that night, like in Indonesia. Yeah, in Indonesia, Indonesia Jakarta, bener. Gila sih. It's crazy. Like, It's gua pas crazy. kesana juga pas nyampe, gua kayak anjing, rame juga. <laughs> gua, right. gua jujur, right. ayahnya serame itu sih. 
But yeah, now, yeah, yeah. kita let's move forward. Like, lo kan right. been been a fan since Kobe Bryant days. Nah, lo sekarang perasaan lo berbeda nggak sih saat lo support Lakers dengan LeBron era sekarang ini? Jadi gini, gua admit, okay, I'm gonna be the first one to admit. Pertama kali LeBron was traded to the Lakers. Oh, not not traded, they're free agents. Sorry, yeah. as dia uh, ke, ke ke Lakers, I was one of the people who yang gak setuju. Oh, gua gua team. Team, I wanted the young core to develop. I wanted Lonzo to develop, Ingram, Kuzma. I wanted those guys to develop. Hmm. Dan terbukti sekarang Lonzo, Ingram, Kuzma are, are, are legit players. Yeah. Ingram is a legit. Lonzo, everyone's legit. Dan gua gua mengira kayak man, it's gonna hamper the Lakers' chance in the in the long run, right? Dan lumayan terbukti di season pertama Lakers nggak masuk playoff 2018. Mm-hmm. Nggak, nggak, nggak masuk kar- eh, 2018, 2019. Ya. Yeah, Le- karena cedera groin, yeah. Yeah, groin. Makanya dia nggak, makanya kita nggak masuk playoff DLL. Mm. Tapi tiba-tiba tahun depan langsung dapat Anthony Davis, langsung Davis masuk, langsung 2020 NBA champions in the bubble lagi kan, in in mm-hmm. in, in, in legend the bubble. Dan di tahun di mana Kobe meninggal, it was it was it was it's this. Kobe died 2020, COVID happened, dunia hancur, NBA bubble, Lakers, nah. Ketika Lakers menang 2020, kayak gue jadi kayak yang tadinya gue nggak fully heartedly support, gue fully heartedly support Lakers, LeBron, of course. Uh, Lakers. Mm. When they won, it, it was so poetic. I, I don't know how to explain. When they won in the bubble through COVID, man, 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 it, it, it was amazing. It was amazing, and I always supported Lakers. What open our our gue nggak setuju LeBron masuk. Tapi sekarang I'm full full throttle, of course. Do you think LeBron is overpower, like in controlling in the oh, NBA? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Legit, Legit. Le- 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 nah, sorry, gini, gini. Ini yang orang-orang nggak ngerti. LeBron is such a good player. He is. He is the system. Kak, people don't understand. There are people who come into a team. Bahkan sebagus-bagusnya Kobe dan Shaq atau Kobe sama Gasol, they had to play Phil Jackson's triangle. True. They had to play the triangle. LeBron sangking bagus ya. He is the system. Makanya gue pas dia masuk kayak a LeBron team itu harus ada three point shooters, harus ada dikasih nafas untuk LeBron drive kick out, hmm. harus there's a way that LeBron plays. Nah, kalau LeBron adalah sistem, otomatis pemain-pemain lain nggak bisa develop. Tapi ya itu you either win now or win later. Dan ternyata kebukti win now. Uh, Genie Bus, uh, of course. Siapa namanya the GM? Uh, Kobe's best friend. Uh, Rapalinka. Uh, uh, Rapalinka. Rapalinka. Mm-hmm. Everybody they prove they prove the, uh, they proved all the haters wrong. Yeah. Jadi kayak congratulations to the Lakers. And then you said that you know LeBron might need to take some breather. Mungkin load management next season. Yeah, load, load management. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, you know. Now you guys have Russell Westbrook, so maybe LeBron can take some games off because get Russell it, it, it. because Russell can bring the ball up. But we just want to know, see first reaction, lu pas tahu Russell Westbrook datang ke Lakers. Fun fact, setelah Kobe pensiun, mm-hmm. I had to find my guy. Lu ngerti nggak? Yeah. Even though my team was the Lakers, even though team gue masih Lakers. My guy was Russell Westbrook. I don't think people understand. Karena I just love the way he played. Apalagi pas Kobe pensiun, the, uh, the next season he had the triple double season. Yes. Yeah. He, he he had the first triple double season, and he was a beast MVP. MVP went crazy. Kind of, oh, this this is the next guy. Even though they always failed in the playoffs, the uh, first yeah. round actually blah blah blah. I just always like Russell's demeanor. Russell has that fuck you. I don't give a shit. <laughs> he, he has that like whatever. And then Russell experiment with PG. I just took a rocket, and then yeah. what, what, all the Washington blah blah blah. I always loved them. Pass go tau dia ke Lakers. Go out to go out to Lakers 2022. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't think people understand. People say okay, he's not a shooter. No, I, I, look, I get it. Tapi I don't think people understand. Lu kira dua orang hebat nggak ngerti cara mainin satu sama lain. Tiga ada tiga What? ada AD 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 ada AD
Mm-hmm. Apalagi Russell it, as it, 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 at his point in his career. Mm-hmm. Bila dia udah mau menang. Lu ngerti gak? Mm-hmm. Bukan, bukan Russell. Bukan Russell awal-awal. Yang mungkin mencari jati diri or whatever. Mm-hmm. Ini Russell yang kayak LeBron, AD, whatever it takes. Let's fucking go. Yeah. Let, you, you want me to bring the ball? Let's go. You want me to be Mr. Triple Double? Let's go. You want me to get it? Let, let's go. Let's go. Man. Bakal ada take time to adjust, just like Kevin Durant and Stephen Curry, just like they in the beginning they had to adjust. But once, once they click, rock, rock. Once they figure the shit out, once they know the rotations, once they know when to give the ball to AD, when kapan Russell panas, kapan AD has to feed down the block. Once they figure it out, so <laughs> sorry, no, no, no. Injury. again, barring injury. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. injury. Man. That jujur, father time is undefeated. Of course. Gue bakal ngomong hot take. This is the season di mana kalian akan lihat penurunan LeBron James. Kan tahun lalu wow. kita kayak, yeah, gue jujur. Yes, father time, as Charles Barkley says, father time is undefeated. Right? Kita kan selalu ngomong, kapan LeBron James ke- kena umur? Yeah. Right? Next season dia bakal start 36 tahun. Secara history, only a couple of players played well above 36. Kareem, um, uh, Robert Parrish in the Celtics back in the day. Uh-huh. Vince, Vince pun turun jauh. Yeah. Right? Man, LeBron is amazing. He's a freak of nature. He's one of a kind. This is the year di mana kita semua sebagai NBA fan bakal lihat. Okay, he took, he took a step back. Wow. Karena ini umur. Umur. Ini, but even because of that, AD sekarang masuk 80 28 years old. Yes. 29. Prime. Ini primanya dia. Prime. Bagi orang yang ngerti basket, 26 sampai 33 itu itu primanya. Agar yeah. ada ada kapannya. Ini prima. AD please don't get injured. Please. <laughs> dan dan Westbrook tuh masih masih people forget Westbrook is at the tail masih prime tapi yeah. di akhir. Masih prime tapi yang di di, di akhir akhir. Yeah, yeah. Dude, and we got we got Malik Monk. Kevin, yeah. Monk. Uh, 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 are you who? Who gonna stop us? People forget Kendrick Nunn was a beast in the NBA Finals in 2000 in, against LeBron. People for people forget, right? Oh my! Oh, and Malik Monk back in Charlotte. Oh my God, man, bro. <laughs> tapi kan nggak kalau lu pikir-pikir ya hype-nya itu sama kayak hype-nya Lakers musim lalu when you got Gasol when you got Dennis Schroeder mm. uh, Montrezl Harrell and then suddenly yeah. it didn't work out dan sekarang lu lihat, ini boleh dibilang umurnya tua-tua ya sekarang ya ada Karmel ada, Karmel, ada Karmel lu gak boleh lupa di jagoan gue lu gak boleh lupa Karmel, di Karmel, 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 Karmel. Dwight's back Dwight's back nah gini yeah. gue waktu tahun lalu I did not like that they took away Dwight Howard. Okay. Kaya I watched every single Lakers game. Dwight Howard is so underrated. He wasn't the 2009 Dwight Howard. He wasn't yeah. Superman Dwight Howard. Tapi Dwight, listen, without Dwight, we would not have won the Western Conference Finals against the Nuggets. True, because Nuggets he stopped Jokic. Yeah, he, he stopped, stopped Jokic. Jokic. He single-handedly contained Jokic. Yeah. Kaya, People forget, and Dwight has this thing where he roams oh, shit. on defense. Oh, <laughs> okay. nah, he, roams on de- he roams on defense. He still has his reach. He knows, yeah, run, dunk, set screen. Run, dunk, mm. set screen. Yeah. Now, even though the hype was great, listen, I'm a Laker fan for life. I still believe if Davis was not injured. If, if people, people forget, Davis was, was injured. People forget this. Yeah. Lakers would have at least went to the Western Conference Finals. At least. Menurut gua. Tapi Davis was injured. Listen, they were up 2-1 against the Suns. They were up 2-1 against the Suns in, in the first round. LeBron injured. LeBron was not playing full, fully well. AD was... Whatever happened with AD. You call me, call me a lover. Call me a fanboy. Tapi kayak menurut gua. Injury played a yeah. big part. People forget. Injuries played a big part. LeBron ngeledekin Jay Crowder sih. Ya, kena deh dia tuh, gara-gara kena, itu. Kena, kena, kena. Iya, <laughs> ya. Tapi lu sekarang Soalnya lah Ando Fisher pilih dulu kita kalau lu prediksi MVP next season. I'm gonna give a hot take. Oke. Okay. Bagi, bagi orang bagi orang-orang yang ngerti hot 
hot take itu apa? Okay. Okay. Gue kan ngomong sekarang. Hot take. Hot take itu take yang orang-orang kayak, uh panas. Ini kayak, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to say, I'm going to say it now. Okay. Gue percaya, next season, it's going to be until, uh, uh, with uh, two people. Two people are going to fight for the spot. 